Hi everyone, welcome to the PSSC webinar series course presented by the Power System Experts. Our today's webinar on PSSC Power System Planning and Operational Tool. Following are the contents of our today's webinar Power System Engineer Prerequisites, PSSC Power System Simulator for Engineering, Where Does PSSC Fit, PSSC Software Files Overview, and PSSC interface quick overviews in the power system engineering prerequisites as a professional engineer one must have following qualities to become a solution provider rather than the robot the first one is the background of power system engineering and second is the know-how of analytical software tool for example PSSE and third one the knowledge of power system network under study and the last one is the knowledge of the problem under studies in the PSSE, the power system simulator, PSSE has capability to perform different power system studies in steady state as well as in transient condition. PSSE is an integrated set of computer programs that handles the following power system anal analysis calculations, power flow and related network analysis function, balanced and unbalanced fault analysis, network equivalent construction, and then the last dynamic simulations. So PSSE is basically designed on the premise that the engineer can drive the greatest benefit from the computational tools by retaining the most intimate control over their application. The interactive structure of PSSE therefore encourages the user to examine the result of each step in the computation process before proceeding to the next. So this assists the engineer in understanding the engineering capabilities of these tools without having to become a master of the mathematical fine points of computations. So the, at the execution of standard studies such as power flow analysis, transient stability analysis on PSSC requires no programming expertise. So anyone ha have not good skill in programming, so he or she can perform these analysis on PSSE well. So the base configuration for all installation on PSSE is made up of power flow and library program section and also the other available program section that are for optimal power flow analysis, fault analysis, dynamic simulation analysis, dynamic model library source, transmission line constant calculations and line properties, linear system dynamic analysis, WECC data conversion programs, graphic model builder and Neva eigenvalue analysis so in the in these all these tools in all these modules the last two modules are used separately so the most important slide basically it gives you the complete picture of regarding the scope of PSSC at utility scale where does PSSC fit? So from the generation perspective, we know that the utilities, independent system operators, independent power producers need to run a variety of different studies to plan for secure, reliable, economical, feasible investment in the power generation infrastructure. So these generation interconnection studies include multiple type of analysis, for example, power flow analysis, dynamic analysis, contingency analysis, load deliverability and generation deliverability. So PSSE provides the core analysis and automation function that are needed for the most accurate generation planning outcomes. So by doing the generation planning analysis on the PSSE, IPPs can improve the accuracy with which they can assess their generation interconnection proposal before submitting to the independent system operator. And on the other side, the independent system operator benefit from an automatable tester tool for assessing the generation interconnection request. So from the transmission perspective, in order to ensure the grid reliability, security, compliance with the regulations and sound capital investment decisions, transmission companies need to perform a wide variety of studies around their grid infrastructure. So PSA supports a full spectrum of analysis function across the power transmission planning including power flow analysis, advanced contingency analysis, steady state voltage stability, short circuit analysis, transient stability simulations, optimal power flow analysis. So all these analysis can be 
perfectly simulated in PSSE. So PSSE support all these analysis. Similarly, with the increasing trend of renewable energy sources like solar and wind and store energy storage devices, the demand side management programs are disrupting the traditional model of the power grid where power flows from generation to transmission, transmission to distribution to end cons consumer. I mean the radial fashions, right? The flow of power is now increasingly bidirectional bi -directional and concentration of demand and generation are dis distributed across the power grids in a new ways. So this gives rise to a new generation of planning question and needs like the first question how much renewable penetration can my system handle and the next question what is the transmission effect of distributed energy resources connected at the distribution level as well as the transmission level. So with PSSC plus PSS single you can boldly meet the tomorrow planning challenge challenges by building the proven PSSC foundation that you already have today. Uh, similarly in grid data management a simulation is only as good as the data model it's run on so a lack of sound data management and exchange can result in simulation accuracy problem wasted time duplicate efforts poor organizational eff efficiency and financial damages as well so the model management add-on module for PSSC solve the problems of maintaining an organized database for all your projects scenarios model data and seasonal rating and cases so all these areas of PSSE where PSSE can be utilized at utility scale. So in the PSSE overview section, the use of PSSE requires several type of operation on its host computer. So among these are the creating and filling files to be used as input files to PSSE. I mean the initial data data submit added in the PSSE as input files. And next is the compiling and linking the connection connection subroutines like conic and conet and any user written dynamic simulation equipment model into the main body of PSSE. Then after that the running the PSSE programs and the running the auxiliary programs. In the PSSE files overview files are created by two ways files created by the user and file created by the PSSE. Some of the files created by users and that those files are submit added in the PSSE interface and PSSE worksheet then PSSE generates the SUNAV files and the other output files. So files that created by the users is specifying data that is required by one or more of the PSSE activities and files generated by the PSSE like the user working case and dynamic working memory are preserved and the output results output and result files that are either requested by user or automatically generated by PSSE. So the PSSE file classes, the classes of file used by PSSE are summarized in this table. With the exception of temporary files and PSSE and option files, the user may assign any name to any files. Among these all files, there are five files that are most important. First one is the input data files, next is the save case snapshot files and third one the output listing files and the fourth one is the channel output files and at the last the responses file like the python scripting or id files. So these are the basic, sum this is the basic summary of all basic files. The first file is a save case file. The description, the description of this file is the completely steady state network data. At extension, this file can be saved only by .sav. And comment is a, this file is essential. Definitely, all steady state network data is present in this save case file. Next one, the snapshot files that contain the dynamic data of components. And the, this file is created by the PSSE. Initially, we provide the data in dynamic data file that is called dyr after that this pssc generate the snapshot files this is essential for dynamic purpose and the slider data file that this is slider diagram built by the slider and also this this file is also created by the pssc and similarly power flow raw data files and channel output files and dynamic data files all these files are 
necessary to so start your case from scratch and, uh, and also in order to perform the steady state analysis and the dynamic analysis and all all other files are used in different type of analysis in contingency analysis in pv qv curve analysis so we will see all these files in upcoming webinar series so in the pssc interface quick overview before going to start our hands on example in our next webinar so let's have a quick overview on our interface so this is the single line diagram generated by the pssc here you can see that, that there are different components with different ratings and the most importantly the different ratings are shown with different colors so these are the system voltage default levels you can define your own default levels and own own colors and you can customize your own, in own, your own fashion so from, from this is this setting these settings can be done from the diagram settings so in the diagram properties the first section is the diagram annotations here you can define your bus annotations id annotations and the precision of your output results if you are interested in more than two decimal up to two decimal places results in two up to two decimal places so no, you can change your precision also in all type of analysis like in power flow analysis and short circuit analysis and similarly in the diagram property in the second section the diagram range check checking here you can define your voltage level thresholds with different colors and also you can define your line loading limit if your loading of line is increased by 90 percent then the color of the line will be changed and similarly you can define the thresholds of your substation voltages in case of normal mostly we do the 5% criteria use 5% criteria and in case of contingency analysis we use a 10% criteria below and above the normal values in the diagram settings in the third section the diagram titles and these are you can define your own title diagram and similarly in the advanced diagram settings all these settings are fixed by default but you can change your your own fashion and the next one is the most important the PSC program preferences before going to start our case from the scratch everyone must have an, an, a complete P, a overview of this pro, PSC program preferences in the journal section you can see that the whenever you will generate an output it will create a new tab for every report and the output of the font size will be 110 you can customize your output font size and output report and similarly most important the auto save option you can check this button and the case will be automatically saved and it will save your time and also it will save your effort similarly in the program preference and diagram section in order to access the diagram like only grow in services atom mostly we use this only grow in services item because when we work on the larger networks the switch line also grow also grown with the grow in service items so you need to ch check this only grow in service items so in the last the pssc program options bus inputs bus inputs are taken as a numbers bus output also taken as a number all these settings should be done before going to start your case and the most important factor is the base frequency the frequency is different for different countries so in order to start your case first check your frequency settings whether your frequency is 50 hertz or 60 hertz and at the end then in case of short circuit analysis if you are interested in per unit or in the physical results a rectangular because due to the phasor currents rectangular or polar you can change these settings from the program setting option so these are all the quick interface overview and the importance of PSC softwares so we will do a hands-on exercise in our next webinar 
how to create a 9 bus IEEE 9 bus network in PSSE. Thank you so much.